we are going to be talking about um the recent news of a scum of a creator in the space being outed as what he is scum and an abuser if you were someone who just came to my chat to say i had an awful take on the situation one i don't care what you think i don't care i i really don't care if you're if you're quoting me on twitter coming into my twitch chat to say that i'm in the wrong when you are a parasocial fan no absolutely not we're not doing that okay all right we're not doing that we're not doing that okay i stand by my friends i stand by my very close friends i adore them and the reason i'm talking about this on stream is because of the fact that there has been a constant <sighs> the weird way to put it okay i'm gonna quickly i'm gonna dive into a few little things today and obviously this is gonna be a very triggering not triggering yeah triggering topic as well as a heavy topic uh and something that i think a conversation that needs to be spoken about um because of the fact that i've had experience as well as many other creators in the past where it almost seems like silence is the only option oh captions are off hold on and someone in chat just said it's not your place one i've had permission two the reason i'm talking about this on stream is because i want to offer resources to the people that need it this is something over the last few days i have never seen so much it's been i have seen i have seen the the violence you know and i mean that in the sense of the fact that this I don't know the best way to explain this, and I'm not going to come on here and just scream and be angry, okay? The reason I feel like this is important to discuss, okay, which I'm going to reiterate. The reason I think it's important to discuss is because of the fact that I want to give you guys resources as well as I want to shut down everyone who's coming into my chat and saying, I basically, the reason I want to talk about it is so then it avoids then me streaming and then people coming in to tell me that my take is wrong which i think is a completely fair thing to do no i'm not saying i was an eyewitness i mean in regards to another person okay i once again want to reiterate if you are replying and you are coming into my chat and saying that my take is wrong i would like you to go onto twitter and i would like you to read what what Wilbur said again. At the end of the day, if you make a statement or an attempt at an apology and all you begin it with is saying that you have changed, that is not an apology. And also, the shit one. And now, I want to say, if you are someone who has been hurt by someone you've trusted in the past, I am so deeply sorry. And I am extending my absolute love and support to you because it is one thing to have your trust broken and then it is another thing to try and come to terms with that if you do exclamation mark d a resources which stands for domestic abuse resources i have got uk usa and international someone in the chat just said why didn't you speak up sooner because my friend i don't know if you're aware if you haven't watched shelby stream uh, I'm not going to talk for Shelby much. I'm also not going to talk for anyone. Um, a lot of it takes a while for people to come to terms with things. It's not right 
of someone to come out about something if the said person isn't ready. And I mean that in general. And if, by the way, I also want to say... Oh, so interested in yeah, she had to speak first, exactly. And also I want to say, if you are any of the people who have gone after anyone, and I'm just saying this in general, I, this is to all victims, if you've ever had someone come up to you and say that you should have spoken up sooner, you are scum. You are scum. You are a terrible person and you have no fucking place. I'm so serious, okay? There is no time frame... There is no time frame in coming to terms with what you've gone through. And the fact that this is something that has to be said time and time and time again... ...is fucking ridiculous! It's ridiculous, okay? Hi, Steph. <sighs> now, I want to talk about some of the resources we have here, okay? Uh, if you guys haven't seen, um, I have the resources link, exclamation mark, um, what's the word? Exclamation mark, DA resources. I've got UK, USA, as well as international, okay? Um, if you want to check out those resources, it is all about help helplines, information, as well as more in regards to domestic violence and domestic abuse. And I know there may be a lot of people in chat that hear the word abuse and maybe their brain, you know, turns off a little bit. Um, because of the fact that they feel like what they've gone through isn't enough to be warranted as the term abuse. And I want to make sure you're all aware it doesn't matter. It does not matter how bad it was, okay? Don't create terms and conditions for your own trauma. Because all you're all all you're going to do is be in a constant circle of never being good enough for yourself. What you went through is what you went through. Lexi. I love Lexi, by the way, guys. You guys better be sending all your love to Lexi, Shelby, and everyone else that's coming out about things recently. It's so unbelievably important. And also terrifying, okay? These, these wonderful humans have been able to finally get the courage to speak up, and they deserve nothing but love. So unbelievably brave. And once again, I do want to say, okay, I do want to say again, the reason I'm talking about this on stream is because I want to open up that conversation to a lot of people who are now finally realizing that maybe what they've gone through is important too. Because it is. It's an important conversation to have. And an argument that I find extremely frustrating is once again is the argument where people keep saying oh but they should have they, they should have spoke up earlier oh oh maybe you know whatever you're a bad person you are a bad person Oh yeah, I've also got a queer-friendly um, domestic abuse helpline. As I'm very aware, a lot of my community are queer. Uh, and there is a specific queer one, which is uh, for people who are openly queer. Just as a more safety net, because I know for a fact that a lot of queer people, you know, it can be a bit more difficult. Um, so that is also linked. Um, but yeah. I also want to say a very big fuck you to anyone who is still trying to make excuses for someone who has now been proven, well, set out to be an awful person. Once You have no place in my community if you are defending Wilbur. You have no place in my community if you are trying to. And you have no place in my community if you're trying to make excuses for someone who has been outed as a bad fucking person. Get out. 
I don't want you here. And that goes to everyone, okay? There is no excuse, okay? Zero. And I do also want to say, if you have people in your life, I'm upset. And obviously, obviously I'm upset, okay? Um, I'm trying to find the right words and I'm not trying, I'm not trying to come from this with a place of, well, no, I am angry, actually. I'm so fucking angry, actually. Um, because these are my friends. Uh... Not him, but I have friends involved in this and it's like, it's just awful. And once again, I want to say what I said at the start of this. It's been such a strong pattern in the last two years since I've been a creator, right? Someone in chat said, why are you getting so involved? Because of people like you who think that this topic isn't important. It's not that I'm getting involved, is that I'm using my voice to up the conversation. If you can't understand that, and you are too dumb to understand the fact that this is an important conversation that needs to be had, that is not my fault. This is not some petty drama, this is not some Twitter thing. I'm not putting my voice into drama that is just a stupid little thing that's gonna blow over tomorrow. This is abuse! There are victims involved in this, and you guys are treating it like it's Twitter drama, it's not! This is a serious thing. Stop acting like this is something that's going to be blown over within a week. Stop saying Wilbur is cancelled. He's not cancelled. He's an abuser. He has done shit things. It is a crime. It is a bad thing. This is not a cancellation. This is not someone that's just getting cancelled by Twitter. Fucking hell. I swear to god, there's some people online that could watch someone literally murder someone and they'd be like, oh wow, now he's getting cancelled? You guys throw around that word way too fucking much. This isn't a Twitter thing, this is real life, this is a, someone's life. And if you've read the apology that was put out today, you will know that wasn't an apology. It was, it was an attempt. Shit one. But Jesus fucking Christ, open your eyes, you assholes, okay? It's obviously not you guys. But I'm saying this to anyone who's in my chat right now who's watching me and is like, oh my god. Of all, oh my god, Amesy's getting involved. Oh, Amesy loves drama. If you think, if you dumb this down to being some sort of internet drama, that's all you need to know about this conversation. I have spoken to my friends over and over and over about this. And as someone who has seen and not this specific situation but in in the past with other like stuff it is not hard to be there and i also want to say that people saying separate the art from the artist no Listen to someone new. Exactly. Exactly, man. Anyway, I want to go back to talking about what I have linked. Uh, once again, exclamation mark resources. Um, exclamation mark resources. Uh, DA resources, sorry. Uh, as you have on the exclamation mark DA resources, I already said it's got, um, it's got queer uh, domestic abuse uh, helplines as well as UK-based, USA-based, and also international-based, okay? Uh, you can check those out, and if you are someone who is experiencing anything in regards to abuse or any anything that you think isn't right, don't hesitate to talk about it. You're also not alone, and once again, don't make terms and conditions for your own trauma. Because you are a victim if you've gone through something. And it doesn't matter how bad it was. 
I use that because it's just stupid rhetoric in the sense of being like, oh, but what I went through isn't nearly as bad as what other people go through. Don't do that. You deserve better than... You need to treat yourself with kindness, okay? It's, it's important, my friend. It's very, very important. Um... It's... I don't know. I don't know. It's... I don't know. I just, I just, I just... Yeah. And I want to say again, if you were the person that kept coming into my chat at the start of stream saying that, um, that I would, like, my take was wrong, I don't care. Also, leave my community. I don't want you here. Because I'm not changing my mind. You are a fan. You do not know anything that goes on behind the scenes. That is my last take on this. Also, support victims. Okay. Alright. Chat. I hope you're all doing okay. Um, I want to just re uh, say this. I know these... These topics, I don't know why I'm so un- Wait, am I blurred? There we go. There's a lot more I could say and want to say. However, I don't believe today is my place to. Um, due to the fact that I would rather highlight what is being said today. Um, because that's more important to me. Um, but I have, I just want to say... If you... I'm trying to think of the best way to word this. I want to say to everyone in my chat, it is okay to feel sad over the situation. And it's okay to be sad that your trust you had in someone has gone. I feel like that is an important thing right now because I feel like a lot of people have conflicting feelings. You're allowed to be upset and you're also allowed to be angry. Okay? Yeah, I want to also say that, but don't 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 mistake your anger and sadness as a way to invalidate any victims and such, okay? Cuz at the end of the day, this is about people who have came forward, okay? Alright? Okay. Alright. Chat. The internet right now is a very, very, very scary place, obviously. Um, and I just want to ensure you are all taking care of yourselves. Because that's more important. Um, as well as the fact that... Um, be off the internet if you need it, okay? That's also very important, okay? Be off the internet if you need it. Um, you, you're not weak for getting triggered by something that is as heavy as this. It is okay to also not be as open to talking about things as serious as this than you thought you would be. Because I know for a fact that Sometimes with conversations, I try, I always try and kind of put myself out there and too forward, and then I end up getting upset because of the situation, and then I'm like, oh, fuck, you know? So, just, just, you'll be okay. 